Mera, Shunsuke, Somea, Japani, Fun. Uh, everyone, uh, very nice to meet you. I am Shunsuke Somea, uh, this paper uh, number 154. And uh, she's my translator. Uh, my English, not good. <laughs> she helped me uh, at Q&A time. Thank you. Um, let's start. Uh, this is my background. Uh, I have been working as a researcher uh, at a Japanese construction company. And now I'm also attending a doctoral course in private. Uh, this paper is from this university. This is my presentation contents. In instruction chapters, we focus on VR technology uh, for safety education and for construction work. In this paper, uh, there are two main purposes. First, uh, conducting an experiment in which multiple subjects experience and inexperience use VR safety materials. Second, discussing differences in heart rate. Uh, this is a uh, VR safety education material. Uh, this is a uh, this is a, a commercial product uh, sold by Japanese software company. Uh, eternal scaffolding uh, for height work. Uh, there are uh, five folds at the safety facilities. Uh, next, uh, how to determine uh, that subject heart rate has changed significantly. Uh, heart rate data differs from individual to individual. So we took on an uh, individual resting heart rate data as a reference. And we judged 75% uh, quartile of uh, heart rate change values as their uh, threshold of big change point during VR experiment. And this is, uh, and these are uh, experiment methods uh, I will introduce uh, in detail later. And this is a uh, uh, equipment list for experiment. And uh, HMD is Oculus. VR contents are a uh, sales product for safety education. Heart rate sensor is a uh, watch type product. Horror. Uh, uh, for experiment, and uh, there are two groups. Group A is uh, experienced group. Ten male supervisor working for a uh, Japanese construction company. And group B is in experiment group. Ten male student in the university. And this is an experimental step. First step, uh, resting heart rate while CTs was measured. Next, second step, uh, subject stand up and HMD was worn. And uh, they are surveyed while standing uh, for uh, Uh, get used to, uh, in order to get used to. Uh, third step, the subjects were free to 
walk around and visually inspect the uh, experience area. And the last step, uh, this is uh, interview time. Uh, while showing Oculus screen video capture and their heart rate data, this is a method called a protocol analysis. And this is experiment movie. Uh, left is real world. Right is VR world. And these are all heart rate data. Um, vertical axis is a change value of heart rate. Um, this line is a threshold or big change. And these are feedback results. Uh, circle mark, uh, they are feeling fear or notice something in VR content. And this is a list of where and how many times heart rate changes significantly. And both feedback result and this heart rate result, and they are looked like more response in experience group. More. And also, not in this paper, statistical analysis Wilcoxon ranked some test was performed. And there are difference between two groups. Uh, in this page and in this page. And there are lists, uh, cross tabulated lists of interview results and heart rate change results. And these images make this discussion easy to understand. We found three response patterns. First, pattern A, location in danger for themselves, uh, subject, feel, where, work, and their heart rate changes. Next, pattern B, location in danger for others, not themselves. They feel not fear, and their heart rate not changes. And last pattern, pattern C. And this is interesting. Uh, same as B location. Location in danger for others, not to themselves. But their heart rate changes. Unconsciously. Uh, we suggest that uh, VR does not allow for entirely new experience, but deriving past experience. And we suggest in VR content, in feature, person clearly perceives a personal danger, everyone obtain similar sense. And for others, for others, the experience may be difficult without work experience. This is this paper's conclusion. Many thanks and references. Thank you. Danger boss. <laughs>